Investors will be watching a lot of key economic data out, due out this week, including consumer confidence tomorrow. That's on top of a slew of retailers reporting. And here with uh, more on what to expect and some important names to watch, Stephanie Link, Chief Investment Strategist and Portfolio Manager at Hightower, as well as a CNBC contributor. Let's start, uh, Stephanie. Welcome, number one, with the economic data this week. What are the two or three data points that you'll be watching? What do we expect uh, from them? Yeah, so it is a busy week. I think the the, uh, the PMIs and the ISMs will be interesting because you get the services component as well as the goods component. Uh, and I think services is going to continue to be the bright spot, north of 50, which is expansion. Um, and on the goods side, I think you're going to see continued contraction. And that's exactly what we've been seeing all year, actually for the last couple of quarters. But we do know that services is about 70% of the uh, consumption, U.S. consumption. So we kind of root for services. Um, but we're here that very consistently from companies as well. And then, of course, we get a big number, fourth quarter unit labor costs. And that number, 1.5% growth month over month, but a 6% year over year number, it's likely too, still too high. And another reason why the Fed will continue to be hawkish and continue to be raising interest rates. Let's move on to a couple of consumer names that report this week, Target and Lowe's. What do you, these are stocks that you have your eye on, not necessarily ones that you own or, or uh, favor is buys right now, but talk us through them. Yeah, well, I own a small position in Target, and I am inclined if it does fall, what options are pricing, an 8% move either way. But if it does fall on, on the news tomorrow, I am inclined to be a buyer. Because I do think as you progress through 2023 that this company is going to clean out inventory uh, and that margins actually, as they clean out that inventory, will recover. I mean, their goal uh, or their target um, and guide for tomorrow is low single digit negative comp and also a 3% operating margin. I think that's a low hurdle, Tyler. Um, but again, the key is going to be inventories. It was 14% growth last quarter. It was 43% growth in the first quarter of last year. So they've made progress, but they still have a lot, long way to go. I guess Lowe's has a lower bar now, Stephanie. What do you think? Yeah, I would say definitely Lowe's, have, Lowe's has a, a lower bar, and it also trades at 14.7 times forward versus Home Depot at 18 times, so a big discount to its competitor. Um, but the reason it does, Kelly, is because 75% of their revenues is do-it-yourself, mm. and that, we know, has been under enormous pressure versus the pro business. Home Depot has a much better mix. So inventories are also going to be key for these guys, too. I thought Home Depot did a pretty good job, sales to inventory spend.